Welcome back. Uh, I'm Mr. Michael. Thank you for joining us on Rocket Science for Kids. Wanted to go through some of the sensors for the Spike Prime. And in the Spike Prime hub here, and in the base of your Spike Prime box, you have your three new sensors. So I'll go through those each. You have your color sensor, which is a lot smaller and has some connectability on that. This is a brief tour just of sensors. If you wanna see some more detail on that, we have other detail video on talking about a lot of different elements and um, how these reflect and different colors that they see. So the sensor does light up in the middle here, reflection, and it does see color at a lot further distance. You have your force sensor. So I do get excited about this one because your force sensor does turn on and off like the touch sensor did, but it also measures in Newtons in 10 different stages. So you have zero Newtons and pressed all the way down as 10 Newtons and has force uh, controllers inside and a new cable for those in there and connectability. It's about the same size as the touch sensor was before, but a lot more functionality in that. Your get my hub turned on here. I did want to show you a cool program I did for the ultrasonic sensor and the eyes light up on this as well. Let me get this one plugged in for you and show you some of the eye codes that work on there. Maybe I have the wrong program. Let's go over here. Try that one. Oh, didn't push the button. See how those different lights, there's four different lights that turn on there. You can set them up in different, different ways. So that's your uh, ultrasonic sensor and I'll get our color sensor plugged in over here. You can see how it, ooh, kind of blind in there, how it kind of lights up, really, really bright light sensor, color sensor, excuse me. And so I just wanted to go through those with a quick basic tour on how the Spike Prime sensors work. In your hub, you have six ports and you can plug in as many sensors as you want to into this, up to six of course, because it has six ports, but you can plug six color sensors in or six touch force sensors or six ultrasonic sensors to do a lot of really cool programming. All of these ports are input and output ports. So please look for some of our coding and if you have a spike prime i look forward to hearing back from you guys as well in the comments about how you like it and what's your favorite sensor as well well stay tuned subscribe and like our video and let us know what you think and we look forward to seeing you next time mr michael over and out